Evils will be used as sacrificial lambs. Onaizi once again planned protest. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got here hearing this morning. As our headline for this morning says that evils will be used as a sacrificial lamp. Onaizi once again planned protest. We have it that fractional secretary general of Onaizi Indigo Ekeshiku Isizuru has said that the people of the southeast zone will not join the proposed nationwide protest against the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The protest is slated to be held on August 1st, 10th to August 1st to 10th, 2024, over the beaten economic hardship in the country. In a statement on Tuesday, Isizuru says that evils will not be used again, stating that the Southeast has been used as sacrificial lamp in previous riots. He noted that previous riots have resulted in immense losses of Igbo's lives and property. He stressed that what matters most to the South is was the release of Inamdekanu not participating in the nationwide protest. Part of the statement reads, Drawing from the peaceful history of past riots and protests in Nigeria, such as the 17th April 1978 Ally Must Go protest, the 24th May 1998 anti-SAP riot, the 1993 June 12 protest, the 2nd, 4th, 2nd to 14th January 27 Occupy Nigeria protest, and the 20th October 2020 anti protest, which resulted in immense losses of Igbo lives and property. Analyzing the Igbo highlights the fact that Igbos have often been used as sacrificial lamp in the course of these protests. In, a, in the in in the interest of protecting the lives and properties of Igbos across the country, Onaize Indigbo had made the decision to direct Igbos at home and, the dis- and in the diaspora to refrain from participating in the nationwide protest scheduled for August 1st to 10th, 2024, for the following reasons. Firstly, the security challenges in the Southeast makes the imprudent imprudent to allow any form of protest or riot to occur. Any attempt to enforce protest in the Southeast will only excavate the already precarious security situations in the region. Estimates and criminals may take advantage to such protests to investigate violence, loot properties and cause chaos. Therefore, it is not advisable for any protest to take place in the Southeast. Secondly, with the fear of Igbos being used as sacrificial lambs in the upcoming protests, Nationwide Onaizen Digbu advises Igbo residents in the 19th Northern State and Southwest to boycott the protests of their own safety and security. Staying away from the protest is crucial to, to safeguarding their well-being. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that evils will be used as sacrificial lamp on Isaac Digbo once against planned protests. Hmm. Well, the Onaize Indigo, they really care about Igbo people. Yes, they really care about Igbo people. And before I move on, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, do like to tap that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the nearest future to come. Okay, what are we looking about? The Onaize Indigo are telling we the Igbos, people in the South, is that we should not be used as a sacrificial lamp. Yes, we should not be used as, as a sacrificial lamp. Because the Igbo will be used as sacrificial lamp if they join this planned protest. That's why the Onaize is warning against Igbos joining that planned protest that is going to occur from August 1st to August 10th concerning the hardship in Nigeria. Yes, the Onaize, Onaize in the they stated that all the protests that has happened in the country, in the country, yes, they stated that all the protests that have happened in the country, from the very first protest that happened in Nigeria to the latest one, the NSAS protesters, they said that a lot of Igbo people have lost their lives and property because of joining into this protest. And seriously, we don't want to keep losing ourselves anymore. We are always used as scapegoats, scapegoats in any protest in Nigeria. Yes, we are always used as scapegoats in any protest that is occurring in the country. That's what the Onaize Indigo are telling all Igbo, Igbo, um, even any Igbo civilians in Nigeria that we know, do not join this planned protest too. That's going that the youth are planning. Do not join the planned protest. We should not be always used as, as scapegoats in Nigeria. No, we are not scapegoats. But let me now say something concerning this. Yes, let me say something concerning this before I read one or two in the comment section. We all know the country are hard. We all know that everybody wants to speak up. Everybody wants to fight for their rights. Now, it is now or never. So I think that if the Igbos 
want a better Nigeria, if the Yorubas want a better Nigeria, if the Alsa want a better Nigeria, it is time for us to rise up and protest for that better Nigeria that we want. No matter, yeah, we, we all know that you know, a lot of people we we, we may not may not come back to arrive during that protest, but according to the report, they say it's going to be a peaceful protest too, and we don't pray for the bad to be happening. And, and I also understand the there is a indigo side of view. That they care for their sons and daughters who wants to go and protest, but believe me, we have to take risks before we can get really what we really want. Before we have, we have to take risks so that the country can be good. We have to take risks so that the, the country will be in a good situation. Yes, America. Look at look at a country like America. America had a lot of times to fail and try again. Nigeria is still a baby to compare to when Nange um, America is. America is over 200 plus years old, Nigeria is 63, yes, we are like babies to them. And they had enough time to fail and try again, that's why the economy is so good. But we Nigerians, we Nigerians, we are showing ourselves that we are better and we can be better. Yes, Nigeria is a very good country, we can be better. But for this present government that we have here, we all need to go. It is time for Nigeria to rise up and we need to use our voice to do the right thing. Looking on at the comment section that I have here, Andy C. Williams says, Igbos get sense now, they will see nobody to shoot. It's not that one we should be talking about, Jai. And, and Agor Shinibe says, Nigeria is not bleeding. Nigeria is a smiling and suffering country. And is that a good thing? Suffering and smiling, is that a good thing? What do you guys think? Let me see your comment below in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this particular video. Don't have the subscribe button as a big red one with the notification bell so that anytime we have any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.